Welcome. Tell us about yourself. My name is Johan Olbing. I am the live producer uh, at Ubisoft Massive. What does a producer do? Well, it's quite a broad term. Uh, it often you have an like an overarching role uh, in the product development. So you, it's kind of like a product manager. You take care of planning and uh, sometimes budgets and. Uh, what other disciplines do you interact with? Uh, right now in the product I'm working on, uh, I work a lot with uh, programmers and artists, so it's quite mixed. Um, but usually as a producer you get to interact with basically every uh, other discipline there is in the team that you have. What projects have you worked on so far? I've worked on Ground Control 2, uh, World in Conflict and its expansion, Soviet Assault. And the current one is for Far Cry 3. Which one was your favorite? You can't. It's like saying one of your kids. You know, <laughs> I, I can't. I can't set one favorite. It's. They were all very fun in their own ways. At least not on camera. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> um, Games is said to be a very rapidly changing industry. Uh, how, what do you do to keep up with the change, and how has your work uh, changed? I think the main thing is that I try to play a lot of games, a lot of different games uh, from different platforms, different genres, all that. I also try to read a lot, uh, especially online. I follow several blogs and, and online uh, gaming networks and papers and sites like that. Any particular sites or blog you want to share? Uh, well, the, I think the main one is Kotaku. Uh, but also Swedish ones like uh, FZ uh, and yeah, Broke Paper Shotgun and Angry Evil Avatar and pages like that. It's lots of different pages. What would you say is the best part about your job? I think the very best part it would be to see an idea grow from just a concept into the finished product and seeing, seeing players experience that seeing the, the reaction they have when they play and do something specific that you have been part of creating uh, and hopefully seeing that they like it. <laughs> what inspired you to start working with games? Well, I played a lot of games, I love games and uh, it's, it was a very uh, just very exciting business uh, and yeah I think that's that's basically it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how did you get your first job in the industry, and how did you get to become a producer? Uh, the, my first job was uh, because of a friend who worked at Massive. Uh, this was back in 2001. So back then, the, uh, there wasn't there weren't a lot of proper uh, educations that were available for people. So uh, he asked me if I wanted to get a job at Massive as a tester and uh, I said yes immediately of course um, and that's how I started out so as a as a game tester I then became lead tester and product manager and now live producer. Okay. Now that you work with games is it like you thought it would be? Yes and no. Uh, it is a lot of fun. Uh, you have a lot of fun while working with it. Um, and I think it's one of the few businesses where people actually love their jobs. But there is, of course, a lot of stress sometimes. Uh, it's the, the fun saying, you know, kill your darlings. You, because you always have things that you, want to, uh, that you want to improve. Even when the game is nearly complete, you can think of thousands of, of different items that you could improve on and keep working on forever. Um, so, you know, it's, there is, of course, it's not all good, but in, in general, it's, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, it's basically as I thought it would be. Do you have any advice for people who want to get into game development? Um, I think now, since there are a lot of really good uh, educations that you can go, that's, that's a very good way uh, of getting in. And it, of course, it depends on what discipline you want to focus on, if it's programming or, or art or design or whatnot. And uh, apart from that, spending a lot of time you know, playing games, figuring out what you actually 
what you like when you play games. Think more than just play, like try to see what makes this game good, what makes it bad, what could be better. Uh, and even, even if it's not directly uh, related to the discipline that you are focused on, for example, if you're an artist, you can still, you can still uh, gain a lot by trying to figure out how this specific code feature could be better, because you know it gives you an overall, uh, yeah, overall knowledge of, of, of the of how games work. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.